always made the perfect config. So what is up guys, my name is Frey and today I'm fine. This is way too strong. Hello. Come on, full hand tap. Now this is something else. I think we just figured it out. So what is up guys, my name is Fraze and I am back with a part 2 of the perfect CSGO config. A lot of you guys been asking for it and it's been so tempting to create this video. I've been on vacation, I've been sick, it's been everything but here it is. I've finally created the video that you guys been wanting and I hope you guys take the time to leave a like, subscribe, we're getting very close to 6,000 subscribers. My dream is to hit 10,000 subscribers so if we could do that I would be so happy and as always enjoy the video. Disclaimer, this is 100% personal preference. I said this in the previous video but it was very far into the video so a lot of people missed it. So as you can hear right here, it is very important that you realize that everything that I talk about in this video is highly based upon my own personal preference. Highly based upon my own personal preference. So the very first thing we're gonna talk about is the anti-aliasing mode. I told everyone to put it on enabled, which is wrong because it makes the game feel a little bit more blurry. However, some people do like that, but it is a disadvantage when you're playing the game. It should be disabled because it gets a sharper feeling to the game and it might just make it easier for you to aim on enemies when it's not this blur going on. The reason why I wanted you guys to have it on enabled was because it looked very good to me However, after watching and researching, I realized that this is wrong. We should most definitely have it on disabled. For the people who wants to know my sense, I use an in-game sense of 0.68, which is very low, with a mouse DPI of 800. I prefer to play it that way with a very low sense and a bigger mouse mat because I like the aiming aspect of it. But as you can tell, it's not very good for surfing. So in order for us to get the maximum out of this config, I had to switch up a lot of the video settings from my previous video. The reason for this is that I want to see through Molotovs. I do have a video on it that you can watch, but the thing is, if you put shader and effect detail on high, you get an advantage to look through Molotovs and global shadow quality is kind of optional. It's kind of tricky because you can get some advantages of it, but it's not huge. A lot of pro players play it on very low, so it doesn't matter that much, but feel free to have everything on high, even model and texture. If you have the computer for it, this can give you a lot of advantages because you have better shadows, you got to see through the Molotovs and so on. So if it doesn't plummet your FPS, you should most definitely do so. Very first thing you're going to notice is your knife and the shadows on it. This is just an aesthetic kind of thing but it just looks very good and you can also see it in the scope on the AWP when you're not scoped in but this is not about how it looks even though I really like it when it looks great however this is actually the best settings for playing because it ha helps you with molotovs as I will show you in a clip further into the video. With that being said I don't think I could make this config feel or look any better. At this point I think this is the greatest you can get from, from a 4x3 resolution config. However, I will be open to the idea that I'm wrong so if necessary I will create a part 3 of this series. However, I strongly doubt it because this is so good. Please take the time to watch the entire video to get all the information you need. So one of the things that a lot of people asked me about on the previous video was about the clear decals and the keybind that I suggested. However, if you remember I actually told you guys you could put it on whatever keybind you wanted. Bind H to R clear decals. You don't have to use H as your keybind but you don't have to use H as your keybind but however a lot of people suggested that you could put it on W which is actually very very good if you want to because this makes it automatically clear the decals all the time throughout the entire game. 
However, the only flaw that I can see this have having is that maybe a one rare case where you actually want to not clear the decals. May maybe there's a situation like that. I don't know, but if not, put it on W. This is a very, very strong. So I suggest you to do so. And as always, you can go down in the description and you can find the command yourself. So you can just copy and paste it if you want to. There's a lot of good information down there. A small little thing that a lot of people told me about is in the launch options where I suggested you to put the D3D9EX, which is not necessary anymore. Uh, Valve actually updated it. So it is in the files by default. So you can feel free to remove that. So just put in Novid and the frequency of your hertz on your monitor. A big thing that I didn't talk about previously was the digital vibrance and like the brightness settings. The first thing I want to say is that my digital vibrance is put on 90%. However, I did not use any Nvidia throughout the video. I do not use Nvidia Freestyle anymore. You can do so if you want to. I have a video on that as I told you, but I don't think it's working anymore. I gotta be honest, I don't know. But for the brightness and everything, I also have another video on that. It is actually something that I changed in OBS, but you can achieve this on your monitor if you just change your monitor settings. My view model can be found in the config down below. However, I will also be putting it down in the description so you can just copy that part of the config if you only want the view model because a lot of people want it and here it is. I'll be having it on screen, but it might be hard to read. So just go down in the description, copy the view model, launch your game, paste it into your console and you're good to go. If you prefer a view model that has some sort of movement to it, this is not the one for you because this is on the lowest possible movement. Hop is correct. Oh. As you can see in this clip, I have a very special minimap, which I think is very nice to have. I'm going to show you how to get it, and I think it can be very helpful. I do believe that this minimap can have some advantages, but it might be just for the looks. However, the white outlines of the minimap tends to help me a lot when I'm watching where an enemy is. But you can open up game settings and have some radar settings that you can adjust, like the radar map zoom. I do have it on 0.4, which I do think is deep fault but you can play around here a lot of people like it when it's entirely zoomed out so you can see the entire map at all times but i do see a lot of people like to zoom it into like 0.5 the enemies who are close are very easy to see exactly where they are one thing that you can do is put in cl radar always centered zero this is going to center the entire map and not on you so you can see the entire minimap at all times in order for you to get this minimap you have to go to simpleradar.com it's a very very good website. I am not sponsored by this whatsoever. And you can scroll all the way down to customize and you can customize your map on the right side. You have the preview. I happen to choose this set these settings shown in the video. However, you can do whatever you like and then you can just go on to where it says done customizing and download it. And I'll show you exactly where you can put the files in order to actually get the radar in game. So what you want to do is open the local files of CSGO through Steam as shown in the video you want to go on to resources and simply open up the winrar files that you downloaded when you hit download and you want to mark all the files in the winrar as shown here and you just want to drag them into the folder the reason why i'm not doing it is because i already have done it prior to the video nice. all the more that Damn it. flash Oh, bombs is get the. I assume you have enabled the settings that I talked about or even playing the config down below and this is one of the bigger advantages you'll see. You can actually see through the Molotovs. It is actually so good. I've made a video on this previously with Nvidia Freestyle but this is without Nvidia Freestyle 100% and it's still very very strong. The next Molotov I'm gonna throw so you can watch to CT. This is ridiculous. Let's say the guy on CT doesn't have these settings. It will just win automatically. It's almost unfair. Fair. Here's a quick example of how good it is.
thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it i've spent a lot of time working on it as i always try to do on every single video that i create so every like and comment and even if you subscribe means everything so i really hope you take the time to do so and feel free to follow me on twitter we recently hit 100 followers it's not a lot but it's something i would love to have a community on there and for the intro song that i've been using in the video you can see it on the screen right now same goes for the background music that i've been using throughout the entire video which is sonic is building momentum which is all free to use and as always have a good one